What's up guys and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we are going to be meeting up with Reverend Swanson. <coughs> Reverend? <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, <laughs> dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of... Commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion. One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? <laughs> sure, I'm fine. Well, just Anything keeping it real. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch, this is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we uh, pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them to try to stop things from getting out of hand. <laughs> I, I think we're well past that point, bud. Come along. I think things got out of hand a couple moves ago. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us without adding armies, man. This walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay. I'm surprised Dutch is so willing to help. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a without man any for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be will be. Anyway, son. Tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. I'm happy to help, though. Definitely gotta gotta take care of the people, man. Why are Can't you let getting me. involved in this, Dutch? You Everybody know gets stepped up. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall 
was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. Okay. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. Dutch is playing chess and we're all no, playing checkers. For the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. So is our plan to just steal these horses right. back? Let's head out. I've got a feeling it's going to end in a bloody shootout, but we'll see. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, border. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. <laughs> In a perfect world, that would work out, but uh, luck. I doubt how that's actually, I doubt that's how it actually goes down. Quite a few guards on here. Let's see five or so. Pull up alongside. Quietly. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Subdue the soldiers. I'm down to knock him out. Let's see what he's got. What happened to our hat? Did we not have a hat? We'll take his hat, I guess. I thought we had a hat on. Maybe I'm crazy. You mind the horses? I need a smoke. gonna do about this trying to hide their bodies can we hit them all at the same time there's no way this is gonna go go well. Hold on. Can we talk to any of our buddies? Eagle flies, no. Thinking about uh What the hell? Jeb, we got a problem here. Thinking about whistling. We hit that guy's body so he won't see it. The horses are not fond of this. Remove his body again and again. And we'll do it again. Take a look. 
There we go. Get on that wall, Arthur. Holy cow, you just scared the crap out of me. We need one more guy. We might be able to sneak around on the left side and go get him, but I think I'm just, I'm gonna play it safe. Gonna wait for him to come around here. Be a good horse, don't worry. We're gonna get you back home in one minute. What's up, brother? Nobody has to die, baby. Boys, go find out about those horses down below. Arthur, deal with that anchor. Okay. Sure. Pull it up right here. You think I have the first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up, man. Hurry. <laughs> when in doubt, blow it out. Come Using on. dynamite on a boat doesn't seem like the best idea, but, uh... I guess it worked out all right. Confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? All right. Okay. Catch them, mount one of the three horses. We're all just swimming out here together. Over here. Come on. Okay. Yep. Lead the horses to shore. Let's go, buddies. Horses are actually really, really good swimmers. I'm pretty sure. As you guys can see, they're carrying a grown man while swimming. It's kind of, kind of cool. Feel bad about the guys that we knocked out on that boat. They're either drowning or waking up. Doesn't really seem like a very good uh, situation for them. Looks like we made it. Remind me to never get in a boat piloted by Dutch again. That was ridiculous. We're all sopping wet and... Oh, seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh... Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live 
and ignorance. Come along, Your gentlemen. father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Well, Dutch is going to be pissed, but... You head on back to camp, check on the others. Dutch's behavior is... I understand. Thank you. Dutch is that. using him. And he's, I mean, people are going to die. Starting a fight with the army, that does not seem like a very good idea. So we need to... Uh, we need to make sure that, that nothing bad happens on that front. We've got a bunch of missions going on right now, boys. We've got uh, Sadie Adler down here. Dealing with Colm. We've got Micah here. And then we've got Rain's Fall all the way up here. I think that's where we're going to go. All right, guys. So we're about there. Luckily, we are not too far north. We're not up in the mountains with the snow and everything like that. Although this is quite a big change. I like it, dude. Look at how beautiful this is. We've got all these big... I don't even know what kind of trees. Fir trees, I want to say. But I don't think that's right. So it's very, very different from a lot of the other areas we've been in. Wapiti. Can't use weapons in this area. Oh, so this must be the Indian Reservation. Ah, uh, okay. I like the little teepees. Let's go see what our boy is up to. Hopefully we can talk him out of a big mistake. Really don't want uh, don't want something bad to happen to him. Hello. Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. Well, I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. <sighs> um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors, he has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Oh. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm, I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. I think that's exactly what Arthur needs. Let's do it. 
Passing you. Okay, sir. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Absolutely. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. I like this guy. Very progressive anyway, forward gentlemen, thinker. I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I am going to look for some herbs to give you. Maybe he'll be able to cure us. I don't know. I I don't want anything bad to happen to Arthur, but I, I'm I'm worried. I truly am. Coughing up blood is is. You see the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Not good. Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. There was no need to harm them. That horse was looking like a snack. Literally. We can talk, but hold Some up a moment. The plants I need will be growing down here. Okay. With the red flowers right there. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay, let's continue on. So you were saying... So... We don't know each other too well, but... I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses, and, uh... Well... You know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation. And this ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you. Mr. Morgan, let me give this some thought. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, was a waitress I met. We didn't know she this. Got pregnant. She knew who I was. Wait, stop here. 
I want to pick some ginseng. He interrupts us every single time. <laughs> but he is making a medicine for us, I guess you could call it. Some sort of a, a homebrew type thing. Which is much appreciated. He was right, it is super beautiful up here, man. Very kind of him to help us. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So back to what I was talking about. When she got pregnant, she, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Wait, what? It turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. Shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. Oh my god. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. I can't believe he had a wife and, or not a wife, but a... A baby mama and kid. Shot dead for $10, dude. No wonder he's such a hardened criminal. No wonder he's made all the decisions he's made. That would be enough to make anybody go crazy. It's just up ahead. What's happened? No. What is it, it can't be. I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened. The heck is a Chinupa? I gotta find it. Got a whiskey bottle over here. Why do I feel like it was Dutch and the sun? Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's Got a clue right here. Whiskey soaked logs. Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. Got a few things over here. An empty bottle of whiskey. 
Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, uh, still no sign of the Tunupa. Uh. No, oh, an army flask. Ah, okay. Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. I was thinking it could have been Dutch just to, like, get the father upset. Like, the, the son and Dutch work together to get the father upset so that he would want to take them on as well. There's another bottle of whiskey. Look there. Smoke. I don't see any smoke. Oh, down there, okay. Do you have any binoculars? I do, my friend. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all, but, but I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want, land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. No, my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. They're trying to trying to bait you into it. Not if I get it back. All right. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any of the wise. Let's go do it, boys. This should be good. Um. We don't really have much to work with. All of our guns are back on the horse, but we do have our upgraded revolver. Part of me wishes I had the, the sniper so that we could just take these guys out from a distance. I'm also not sure if we should just kill them right away or if we should try to be sneaky. I might try being sneaky to start, and then if it hits the fan, we can obviously. Take these guys out. What's that? I don't think it's the way of the Indians to run in here and kill a bunch of people. I was going to go choke this guy out, but then this guy showed up. And we got a guy walking around. We got to get one of these guys to move. So now we can get this guy. Take it a leak. Well, we tried. I think we might have just. Might have just lost a little bit of respect, but that's alright. The horses gave us away. We choked that guy out and they started squealing. See if these guys have anything good. They've got revolver cartridges, and that's about it. All right. I'm gonna find where this thing is. It's like a ceremonial horn or something. Is that what he said? They just left him right here. They cared nothing about these. They just, they took it. 
just for the, the sake of, like, that's, that's just what's so sad, dude. I don't know. We probably could have snuck in there and, and stolen those without killing everybody. I don't think that was our best option, but if we got the stuff back, that's what really matters. Please tell me you found it. Oh, I got it, bud. That's just so sad, dude. I'm glad we killed him. You know what? It wasn't the honorable thing, but I'm I'm glad we killed things, him. I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. They deserved it. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe... I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. I feel Take like I let him down. I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. Seriously, dude, I feel like I let him down. I feel kind of bad. I got your stuff back and you made me feel bad for it. I'm, I'm just a bad He's person. A you can't fix me. Not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. We're going to do everything that we possibly can. Alright, so let's see see what else we've got going on. We've got Mike over here. We've still got Sadie. And then there's another one up here. Captain Monroe agreed to help him at the Wapiti Reservation. Alright, let's go ahead and head back up there. We're going to stay on this same path, this same storyline. Let's see how we can help the captain. And... Uh, Help the whole reservation as a, a whole. How are you, boy? Well, we made it back to the reservation. What's up, Mr. Oh, Morrow? How you doing, bro? I am, as promised. What a good man. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all of this. We are, mostly. Colonel Favor seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to Wapiti after coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. We've gone from robbing okay. wagons to make money to I walk robbing wagons to, be able to intercept it. get they supplies like, for other Captain. people. This is cool to see. Arthur's growing. He may be very sick and nearly so dead, but Colonel Faber. You he's becoming a better up person. Here helping these people? Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? 
I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for it. <laughs> you don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. okay. You know, so we're going to be sneaky here. Flaws, Unlike in our last mission. He's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. So yeah, I mean, the, the more conflict we have, the more blood that's shed. Obviously, the worse it's going to be. These things are going to have consequences. If we could have snuck in that last camp that they had and taken those items back without shooting anybody up, I think it would have been a lot better off for us. All right. For this the reservation. The I was of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. So at this point, we're going to make sure that we, uh, we don't cause any more trouble for these people. We're helping, but we don't want our help to make things worse in the grand scheme. Let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. <laughs> Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Well, all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Retrieve the medicine from the supply wagon. Dude, how are we gonna do this? What? Last time we did it clean, we had some sort of a distraction from Mr. Trelawney. that allowed us to, to take it without anybody noticing. Obviously, there's no way we could do that, one person. So I guess we just have to follow them at a distance and wait until they stop. Unless, do you think there's a way that you can like jump into the wagon without them knowing? I know you can jump onto stage, oh, we don't want to threaten or aim our weapon. I know you can jump onto stage coaches to like rob them, but is there a way to, Medicine. Come on. Get it, Arthur. There it is, baby. We're gonna take it all. All the back scenes. Get me out of here. No way, dude. How on earth did they not hear that? We also should have closed the uh closed the lid there, Arthur. Makes it kind of obvious that somebody was in there taking it. Otherwise, you could think maybe they didn't pack it or something. I don't know. But uh, 
That works. So that's how that first mission should have went. We should have stayed quiet. We shouldn't have caused an issue and given either side more reason to fight the other one. That's how things are supposed to be done. We're back, baby. We did it. We got the medicine and uh, hopefully this is going to save a bunch of lives. Let's go see where Mr. Monroe is. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. <laughs> oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. No problem, bandit sir. Or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. For the greater good, baby. Very admirable. Makes me happy to see Arthur doing good things. So for our next mission, we're back here at camp. Josiah? We got Mr. Trelawney. I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well. Place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. The whole gang is splitting up. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I am sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I have made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting oh. to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances in mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but... They're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? Keep them honest, baby. Of course it I will. My business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. <laughs> he acts like he wouldn't do it on his own. He's been helping out these guys for quite some time now. We've grown fond of him. I want to see the best for him. We literally just robbed the stagecoach of the U.S. Army. Time to get some of their medicine back. Of course we're gonna help. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. We should have threw our hat back on, I forgot. Control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. 
Because they want you to fight. Be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. I feel like you guys have been shafted hard enough for long enough at this point. It's about time they actually do something nice for you. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. <laughs> yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Um... <clears throat> Uh, Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rainsfall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals. In my opinion, <laughs> keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very. Oh, come on. Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? This guy's a douche. Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Yeah. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. The federal government sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. Things are not looking good. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. Oh, man. man. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. I kind of liked him. I know. We gotta let him know. He's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty I knew this couldn't be a good thing. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so? I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Yeah, we aren't gonna let that happen. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. That's right, baby. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. Bitch. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. We take care of our own. Open fire. 
Okay. What are you doing, horse? Run this way. Woo. Escape with Captain Monroe. Let's do it. We're good. I'm not sure if we want to shoot them or not. Somebody's saying hold your fire. I don't know if it's General Monroe or what. No. I'm gonna get off the horse. Let's go ahead and grab our guns too. Long arm, and then we're gonna grab the, uh, the, uh, I don't really want the bolt action. I kind of want the shotgun. Pump action. Alright, we're good. We're good. Get out of here, horse. He's down. You gotta shoot him, brother. No more loyalty now. We're in shotgun range now, boys. We're good. We got guys on the right. Second, the pump gets stuff done. Let's go. This is the most devastating gun in the game, dude. Captain Monroe, you're with me. Here we go. Okay, fella. Hop on, Captain. We sure as hell don't want to hang around here. Let's get gone. Back to our range weapon. Serious right now. Come on. It's taking so long to reload there. That was ridiculous. He's down. I think we can't really ride, reload, and have somebody on the back at the same time. Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> You're gonna be about as wanted as we are, man. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat. We'll avoid Guam. <laughs> Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Feels good, man. 
Not quite the happy ending I was hoping for. The Indians are still in trouble, and Arthur's still dying. Reverend? But it feels good. Reverend. What are you doing here? Um, I'm leaving. Running away? I suppose so, yes, I'm running away. I try to make Dutch see sense, but he's... He's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run too. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. I understand. He's a smart man. Well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad, either. Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I've felt that way for a long time about myself, I mean, but, but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can, and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Maybe. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! You too, Arthur? Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. You're getting mighty sentimental, Reverend. It's sad to see everything just kind of unraveling, piece by piece. Everything we've known and loved. It's just slowly falling apart. All of our relationships, the entire gang, even our health. All right, guys, I'm gonna see you all in the next episode. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed, and uh, peace out.